This week was filled with plenty gist, and the beef between cross dressers Bobriski and James Brown definitely tops the list. Welcome to your favorite gist corner. Controversial cross dresser James Brown revealed this week that he is now a student in the UK, Genge, and a lot of people have hailed him for this. As some said that he was wise not to spend all his money on living a fake life, but focused on investing in his life. Hmm. While the likes of OAPN6, Tunde Ednot, ETC commended him, people like Bob Risky stated that no good school opens in winter in the UK. Hmm. Trust Nigerians to always have an answer for her, as they blasted her back, saying, DJ Copy is schooling in Oxford University in the UK, and she currently is in school. So is Bob saying Oxford is not a good school? Thinking it has ended there, Bob came out again to say that she was the one that made James Brown, and James clapped back saying that no one made him, he made himself. But wait, if Bob actually made James as she claims, how come he seems to be climbing up the success ladder faster than her? Bob Risky is really trying too hard. She needs to take a break. The beef between these two is getting hotter and the matter doesn't seem to have head or tail. Although Bob later came out to say she wishes James all the best and he should graduate quickly so they can come and eat rice. Why does something smell fishy between these two? Still on this matter, life coach Solomon Bucci called out Bob saying that she should stop dragging James Brown because he has moved on to greener pastures. Seeing this, Bob clapped back by posting a chat years ago between the two of them where she helped the relationship coach with 100k and she claimed that she employed him. But Solomon Bucci cleared her straight. Baba pointed out that Bob sent him the 100k out of her own free will and she never employed him. Seeing the way Bob Risky keeps dragging everyone, she will soon jabber, as Yoruba people call it. Moving on, Naramali, Sainese, Zinoliski, and Mobad were arrested this week by the NDLEA, who revealed that they arrested them because they got a tip that the singers were in possession of drugs. So in the midnight, they raided their house and arrested them with the drugs. All of a sudden, the NDLEA has turned to FBI. Their boss, Naramali, called out the NDLA, saying that the arrest of his signees is beginning to look like a pattern because they were ambushed and arrested without no warrant. Although he revealed that Mobad has been released after being physically assaulted, but Zinoliski is still in custody. Everyone just hopes all this comes to an end for these young stars. Reacting to the arrest, Singer Portable stated that should people now stop smoking weed in their houses, <laughs> this one should better be careful before they arrest him too. Another story that got people talking this week was the news of Kayamata Sela Jeruma. Because she was arrested by the police a few weeks ago and reprimanded by the court in Suleja Prison, Abuja, by Bologna businessman Ned Unwoko and his wife, actress Regina Daniels, for allegedly publishing fake news, amongst others. Although she was let out on bail, but news broke this week that the Abuja High Court in Zumba has revoked the bail granted to Jaruma and she is to be reprimanded in court till the 17th of March, which is the new adjournment date for the next sitting of the court on the case. This happened because neither Jaruma nor her lawyer showed up at court and sent no representative to stand in for them. This matter seems to be gathering smoke gradually. Still speaking on Ned Umoku, his ex-wife, Laila Shirani, revealed that the 10 years she spent as Ned's wife were the worst years of her life because since the moment he married Regina Daniels, he stopped caring for her and her children. Laila also stated that Ned would post her and her children on social media like he's the best father and husband while he ignored them in reality. The marriage between Regina and Ned <laughs> will always have one revelation or the other. Controversial actress and Instagram comedian Adala Pinky was also a boss this week as she revealed that she doesn't date younger guys because they never give you transport money when you go out with them. <laughs> Come and see Dragon. Singer YC reacted to this as he said that she is talking shit and warned guys to be careful of whores like her. Hmm. Clapping back, Adala stated that she wishes the old Jagaban singer love and light. Coming to the BB Ninja starts because they always have one thing or the other to say every week. This time, while BB Ninja Kere came out to define what humility is, BB Ninja Maria revealed that the day a man lays his hands on her to beat her, hey, that is the day she will go to jail for murder. Then BB Ninja Cross made it known that he started off going on dates. Wonderful, hot kick, hotty hotty. That is all for the week. Ensure to check out our other rundown videos. See ya.